Hey guys, it's Ari. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me testing out some new Maybelline products. These products are not like brand new as in they came out yesterday or anything. Um, I think they've been out for at least like maybe a month or two now. It is the um, Super Stay Foundation. This concealer is not new, but they expanded the shade range. So I have this one and then the new Fit Me Loose Powder. So I figured I would go ahead and test those out and let you know how I feel about them. So if you'd like to see my thoughts and a little tiny mini makeup tutorial, then go ahead and continue to watch. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this foundation. So this is the Super Stay Full Coverage um, foundation. It's supposed to last up for 24 hours. This is in the shade 356 Warm Coconut. So I was actually really impressed with the shade range. It could go a lot darker, um, but I want to say this shade, um, there's either two or three shades darker than this one, which is good for a drugstore brand, I think. Um, so this is warm coconut and they have coconut. I want to say coconut is lighter than, well coconut seemed to be a little bit more red when I looked at it at the store. I got this from Walmart by the way. Um, so this is a little bit more golden I think. Um, so yeah, I wanted to test this out because I do have golden undertones um, so I didn't want to look red or like I have clay on my face or something. So yeah, I think there's two shades darker than this. Um, two or three, I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, I think the shade range is pretty good. It definitely has room to expand, um, but it's a pretty good start, I think. So anyway, um, that's that one. And then the concealer um, is the Age Rewind Concealer that has been around for a long time, but um, the shades, they never had anything darker than like, I think medium was like the darkest shade that they had for the longest time. So they've expanded the shade range and I got this not to conceal, like not my skin color. I got it to highlight. Um, so I got mine in the shade golden. Um, they had tan, which I was almost going to get that one, but it seemed a little pinkish to me. So I got this one cause it's golden and that's my undertone. So I feel like this would go well with my skin tone. So hopefully it's not too crazy light or anything, but I feel like. I can kind of work with it if I sheer it out a little bit, but I don't know what the consistency is. I've never tried this before, so I'm excited to test this out. And then I also got the Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium Deep, because um, I do want to bake my face with this, um, so I didn't get one that matches my skin tone. I haven't really been using powder here recently, because my skin has been extremely dry, just because it's been cold. It snowed like all week um, last week here. Um, it's pretty sunny today, so yeah, anyway. Um, but my skin has been like painfully dry, so I haven't really been using powder because I just feel like I look dusty and crusty and flaky and yeah, gross with powder. So I'm only going to just set the concealer under my eyes and probably my smile lines um, just so I don't crease or anything throughout the day. So enough talking, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial or testing out first impressions, whatever I'm, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and prep the skin. First, I'm going to start out with the Urban Decay Quick Fix Spray. Um, so this is just a hydrating spray. Um, I really like it. It smells like coconuts. It feels really good on my dry skin. I already have um, like lotion on my face, but I'm going to use this because my skin does feel a little bit tight and dry right now. So let's get a good dousing of that spray. It feels really, really good and refreshing. Next, I'm going to use the hydrating primer. I have been loving this stuff here um, recently. I don't remember when I bought this, but this is all I've been using. Um, the Master Prime um, Hydrating, Hydrate and Smooth for Maybelline. Um, I really like this, and it's pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $7, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get a new one here pretty soon, because I literally have not used any other primer besides this for like the past month, <laughs> or however long I've had this. So I just put some right here, some on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, smile line area, um, upper lip, and then on my chin, and whatever excess I have, I just put it on my cheeks. So. Okay, so brows are done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation, of course. So, let me take this packaging. There you go. I can just... And I believe it has a pump. Yes, which is super cool, because... I hate having to like pour it on my hand, um, that's just, that's annoying, it gets messy. Did I break it? What is this? Hopefully I didn't break it just now, I don't know what I just did. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my little foundation brush right here. I've been loving this brush from the, um, like 14 or 12 piece brush set. 
I talked about in a favorites video, I think, um, last month, but I've been using this nonstop. I sort of cleaned it today, it's still kind of dirty, but anyway. Um, I'm not going to put it directly on the brush. <laughs> I love how I said I don't want to be messy. I'm going to put it on my finger and then, um, and then blend it out with the brush. So, well, it's pretty thick. Oh, and I feel like this is going to be like the perfect color. Hopefully it's not too light. I'm trying to think of what texture it reminds me of. I don't think I have anything that is this texture. Hmm. bit on my upper lip to conceal my mustache. <laughs> I need to near my face. Okay, that should be good for now. Alright, let's get to blending and see how I like it. Like this is the wrong shade. I feel like I look a little greenish yellow um, on camera. On per in person, it looks a little bit better. It's more like orange in person. Um, but I feel like I can work with it with like concealer and stuff. But um, right off the bat, this is gonna be a foundation that I need to use a beauty blender with probably, and maybe a thicker primer. Um, it feels very dry on my skin. Um, I don't, I don't really like it so far, but let's, let's continue. <laughs> okay. All right. Moment of truth. Wow. That's really light. I definitely should have gotten a different color. But well, that's my fault. I like the texture so far though. How light this is compared to my skin tone. Oh my goodness, that is definitely my fault. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a beauty blender um, so I can kind of take away some. Wow, I look crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna use a beauty blender so I can take away some of the product. Um, let me go wet that and I will be right back. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be an epic. This is a mess already. So I look a hot mess right now. I'm gonna try to fix this. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush with no extra product on it and spritz it a little bit with the Urban Decay. This does not taste good. The Urban Decay um, spray. Try to blend these two together a little bit. Oh my gosh, I look like a clown. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of the foundation on the brush to kind of help a little bit. Okay, so that kind of helped a little bit. I still look crazy. Um, I'm going to definitely need to contour and bronze and stuff because, oh my gosh, my face looks so flat too. Wow, I look, look, here's my neck. Look at my neck compared to my face. But I, I feel like, I don't know, let me turn the lighting down a little bit. That might kind of help. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look like a hot mess. Minus the hot. Oh, okay, in person it's not as bad. So let me take this powder. I'm only gonna take a little bit of it because I did get medium deep um, just because I wanted to, you know, highlight, use it more like a baking powder. Um, so let's see how this looks just under the eye and on my smile lines. And I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender um, <laughs> to kind of press it into my skin. <laughs> Not bad. Let me set my smile lines a little bit because I can already I can already see them creasing. So I know that this foundation is not going to be something I can use all the time. 
in the, it might be better in the summertime, but as of right now, with my skin being so dry, I don't think it's a good um, foundation for me right now. Okay, let me go ahead and contour and bronze and stuff off camera, so hopefully I can um, not look so ghostly. Okay, I don't look that off from my skin tone, so I think it's just because I don't have any depth to my skin right now because I feel like I look crazy. I'm going to clean up my brows a little bit. They look kind of crazy, so... Okay, I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so here is my face so far. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit better. I should have gotten a deeper color of the concealer, but I don't think it looks terrible in person. I don't know how it's coming across on camera. Um, I feel like once I get my face or my eyes and everything done, it'll look a little bit better. <laughs> So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think about it. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and recap on these products that I use. So the foundation, um, I like the texture. I like the color of it. Um, I just think that this is not a good foundation for me right now. Um, just because my skin has been so dry because of the weather. So I think I'll probably try this once it gets a little bit warmer outside. Um, maybe like in April I might try it again. Um, with Hopefully my skin's not as dry anymore. Um, or maybe on like days where I'm a little bit more oily, I might try this again or either with, a, just try it with some other products and see if it works a little bit better. So um, yeah, I probably will try this again um, like this week just to see if I like it better with other products. But as of right now, I'm not a huge fan of this um, right now for my skin type. Um, yeah. Um, as far as the powder, I really, really liked it. I think I probably will get it in my skin tone because I think it's going to be great all over the face as well. Um, but like I said, I haven't really been using powder that much recently, so we'll see about that one. I do like the color that I have now, so I might not get another one. Um, the concealer, I really like the concealer a lot. However, I will get a, like a different shade because that one was way too light. Um, but I do have a concealer that's about that... Um, shade so I probably just will not use as much as I use today so I'll go ahead and give it another shot um, just with a lot less product so let me know what you guys thought about this video have you tried any of these products yourself um, if so which ones have you tried and um, what do you think about them did they work for you but anyway that is it for this video if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before hit that subscribe button down below please and become a member of this awesome family and thank you to those of you who have been supporting me and been rocking with me I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.